the curtain comes down on football at Old Trafford in 2023. And there is an unmistakable new era feeling around the place with news of Sir Jim Ratcliffe's 25% investment into the club. McGinn swings it in. Oh, it's going all the way in. I don't think anybody got a touch. McGinn's free kick just dropped in. John McGinn, the Villa captain. McGinn with the corner. Long lay on his own. It's two. Dendonka, his first Premier League start of the season, scores for Aston Villa. And United have got it all to do. December 1978, the last time United lost at home on Boxing Day. Fernandez striding clear. Rashford, great ball across, must be. This time, it will surely count. Garnacho slides it home, and they link up again. Rashford, Garnacho. Oh, what a save. He's done really well there. It, it, it's the cardinal sin to concede is just after you score. Garnacho again, United's go-to guy for inspiration. Fernandez, low ball in. Where's it going? Garnacho! He's doing it on his own for United. Garnacho! Off comes the roof at Old Trafford. A boxing day to remember. And we're not done yet. 2 2. In comes the corner. It's flipped on. Could drop it away. Yes! Oh, yes! It's Rasmus Hoyland! this day, at this moment, Rasmus Hoyland becomes a Premier League goal scorer for Manchester United. They've come from two down to lead 3-2. This is what Old Trafford is all about. There's still some magic left in the old place. A Boxing Day cracker. Massive for Eric Ten Hag, massive for Manchester United season. Have you ever seen two more different halves of football? United two down and in desperate trouble at half time. To McGinn and Dendonka. But back came United. Garnacho inspirational. And special indeed for Rasmus Hoyland, who gets his first Premier League goal for United. And most importantly of all, it's the winner. What a day. What a game, what a night, Manchester United 3, Aston Villa 2.